we're going to be capturing some handshakes, doing some wireless crafting, wireless penetration testing. So if you guys are new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and share. If you're returning, let's have some fun. So before we actually get into it, I just want to let you guys know, in order to perform this task, you need to have an external wireless card, like an Alpha, Panda, whatever your choice is, TP-Link, whatever you want to choose to use, that's up to you. I have an Alpha card, and I have other videos to set it up and plug it in and install the drivers, so I'm not going to go over that here. So once you actually have it installed, what you can do is just run LS USB, and you can see, make sure your wireless card is there. Mine is right there. So I just wanted to put that out there before you guys say, oh, it's not working. I don't get the same options as you, you know, because you need to have these tools, excuse me, you need to have these drivers and the right access, um, the right access points and the right uh, cards in order to perform this. So I just wanted to put that out there before I forget and get these crazy messages saying it's not working when I'm doing it on my laptop, but you know, you need an external uh, card. All right, so first thing we can do is do an IW config just to just to make sure we have our access point, uh, our card in monitor mode. So what is monitor mode? So you have two modes, right? You have manage mode, so you can get onto the internet. You can, you know, all the default, by default, everything's in manage mode, right? So when you put it in monitor mode, that means you're allowed to listen for packets. You're list, you know, you're able to ingest packets and you know sniff the sniff the networks, I guess you can say, right? So if it's in manage mode, excuse me, monitor mode, you're good. If it's in manage mode, what you can do is run a command, air, air mon ng, start, and then whatever uh, whatever interface you're on. So I'm on WLAN zero. So you just do that. And then you can just run it again, and you should be in monitor mode. And those are the you know few preliminary steps you should take to make sure you're good to go. So now what we need to do is stop capturing packets. And we can use a tool called Arrow Dump NG. This is the all you know at crack NG suite. So you know just learn how to use this if you're definitely interested in wireless hacking. So you can do Arrow Dump NG. Not that. So arrow dump ng wireless of WLAN zero. So now I want to go ahead and just control C. I want to stop that. So up here, what it's doing up here is which which is known as uh, channel hopping. It's hopping the channels, jump jumping from one channel to the next channel to the next channel. So you know we can see here in this in, in this row right here with the channel six one eleven nine. Two, etc. So you probably guessed it right. The network that I'm going to be targeting is my own, which is InfoSec Pat Hacking WAF. Also, it stands for um, uh, Wireless Access Point. Now, I almost said something else by accident, but yeah. So this is the information that we have gathered. So let's go ahead. And I'm just going to copy this for now, and let me go ahead and throw it in here. And I can make this larger, just for just for later, right? So we'll we'll have this for later. Okay. So now, once we have this information, what we can do is take it a step further, and we can actually target just our network, right? So this is our network right here. We just got it, right? So let's go ahead and just run arrow dump ng again. Arrow dump ng, and then what I want to do is dash c channel. I want to channel two because this is the channel I'm on, right? And then the wordlet of uh, the the output file that I want to put it out to, I can put it to uh, capture capture path. I don't know, capture path. Okay. So now we can do a, a dash D. And what I'm going to do is associate my access point, right? If that makes any sense. So what I'm going to do is copy this. Let me go ahead and hit space and go ahead and paste this here. And then we have to do WLAN zero, right? Because that's what I'm doing. So now this is only going to target my network specifically. It's not going to, you know, it's not going to jump around to the other networks or anything like that. So we don't have any access 
uh, any stations connected. I do have a station that probably got disconnected. Oh, there it is. All right, so I do have my iPhone connected. So this is my iPhone right here. So the next thing we need to do is we need to deauthenticate, right? We can do a deauthentication attack in order to get the full way handshake, right? So now this is just, just chilling out here. So what we can do is come over here and what we can do is air play NG. I have it here. Okay, so the authentication, zero for unlimited times. Dash A, we have our access point, right? And then, and then the client, right? So this is my client that I'm gonna be removing, which is my iPhone. And then I'm gonna be using my WLAN zero as my interface. So now this is gonna go deauthenticate. This obviously can take some time. Let's go back here. This can take some time, depending on how far your access point is from you, how many how many uh, uh, clients are connected. So obviously this is the process. I wanna make this a little quicker. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna actually go on my iPhone, disable my wireless, re-enable wireless, so then it can intercept that traffic. All right, so let me do that really quick. Let me go ahead and turn this off, turn this back on, associate myself, and then we should get it shortly once, uh, let's give this a second. Let me go ahead and sh shut this off again, turn it on, and uh, let's uh, give this a moment. So what I'm gonna do, it's probably because this is doing the deauth. So I wanna go ahead and cancel this. Now, oops, I don't want that one, this one. Now what we could probably do is come back here and here we go, okay? So that's pretty much the process. So we just, you know, we sped the process up. We, uh, we cheated a little bit, right? So we can just uh, go ahead and control C this. We already got the, the full way handshake up here. So now, if we do an LS here, we have a few captures. So we have the most important thing is the PCAP file, right? So this PCAP file is super important to us because in order to do a dictionary attack or offline brute force attack, or whatever kind of attack that we want to do, we need this file in order to do so, right? So what we can do is, if you want to get a little nerdy for a second, we can open this up with Wireshark and look at it. So let's do that. Let's do Wireshark and then capture that cat. Okay. So let's pop open this bad boy in Wireshark. So we can look at the protocol that it's running on, which is e, uh, EAPOL. So EAPOL. We can look at the four-way handshake here. And we can look over. We can see message one, two, three, four. And these are all the messages that we that we see here, you you know, you can do this. You can get a little nerdy. This is my this is my uh, phone. This is the, the ASUS is my actually that my actual access point and all that good stuff. So you can get a little nerdy and and, and look into here, but um, yeah. So that's that's pretty much you know how you can look into the packet level. So now what we can do, which is the most fun part. So I have I want to do an LS really quick. I have this password. Txt. So if I do a word count on password.txt, it's only 174 words. So it's going to be super quick, right? Maybe you're using rocku.txt. Maybe you're using a sec list. Maybe you're using your own that you found on the internet, wherever you, you know, wherever you found your word list. But what I want to do now is use aircraft. So aircraft ng is the tool that we're going to use to crack the password, right? So we're going to look at capture dot cap, okay, and then we're going to do dash w, which is for the word list, in my case it's going to be password dot txt. When I hit enter here, it's going to go try to crack that password, and that was super quick, not even a second. So my password now is trying to hack me 2023 bang, right, so this is my password. So that was pretty much the process of Let's go back. You know, we, we learned how to make sure our our um, our card is in monitor mode, scan the networks, capture the files, capture the handshake, and then crack the handshake.
So hopefully it has been informative for you folks. I really thank you so much for viewing. Please like, subscribe, and share, and so much more to you know, so much more to come. So stay tuned. Thank you.